All right. This is your math today. This is the uh, project we talked about in class, all about taking the stuff that you, uh, or the tally that you did with the newspapers, and analyzing the information. So let's start. Now that you have information, here's what we're going to do with it. You're going to do a quick write-up on whether or not the newspaper that you studied is positive or not, and that would be negative. So you took a look at two weeks' worth of data. Now we're going to study whether or not the data that you actually received is positive or it's negative. So this is what it looks like. Overall, you're answering four questions. So the first question is, is the newspaper positive or negative, and how do you know? And the way that you know is you back it up using the graphs from the data that you got. Two, are there any days that stand out as being the most negative, and how do you know? Best case scenario, you take a look at the days, you compare the data from the specific days and figure out if Monday or Tuesday is the most negative or even the most positive. Question number three, is there a week that stands out as being more positive or negative than the other? How do you know? So compare the two weeks and figure out if there's one that's more positive or one that's more negative. And four, what is your overall impression of how news is reported on? Why do you feel this way? Take all the information that you've got in the last two weeks and determine whether or not, or determine how news is reported and why do you feel or how do you feel about it good alright within this information you must squeeze in the following graphs or charts you need to have a tally chart you need to have a bar chart you need to have a pictograph, a line graph, and a pie chart the usual suspects when it comes to our data management the key is you want to make sure you have one of each at least one of each somewhere in your write-up now there are four questions and as you can see there are five different types of graphs, which means at least one of them will have to be doubled up. Okay, so you can decide which one. Huge hint, you're going to use your tally chart to display the results from your written project. So here's an example. Down here is what I started writing. The next page, you're going to see my writing here, where it says the newspaper that I tallied was really positive. Over the course of two weeks, I discovered that there was et cetera, et cetera. See bar chart below for a comparison of positive versus negative. I put the bar chart directly into my write-up. So it's not me flipping pages, it's directly into the write-up. And after that you'll see, as you can see, there were 56 positive articles compared to 22 negative. Clearly displaying that the Happy Times newspaper is overall more positive than negative. If you want to do well, this is exactly what you need to do. Let's keep going. Computer versus manual. The question you will be responsible to create the graphs by hand. So, yes, you have to make sure that at least each graph that's back here, each one of these, one of them is created by hand. If you want to talk about going above and beyond, if you're really looking for an A, then you go into the manual versus computer. You build the manual one, and if you really want to up the ante, then you do a computer graph using a different scale or a different type of graph using Microsoft Excel you put the two together under the same question and automatically you're looking at a better grade automatically you're forcing me to review your grades and again you would be making it very difficult for your teacher to not be able to give you a grade that is really good so you want to do well combination. You have to make sure that you definitely do all the graphs by hand, but throw in a few that are done by the computer. Talk about them. Make sure that you re report on them, and you're going to put your teacher in a real tough spot. It's going to be hard for them not to give you a good grade. So you're handing in. It's not a story, but it's a write-up. Try to put the graphs within the points that you're trying to make. In order to get the highest mark possible, I should be able to read through the project without skipping pages. It has to be sequential, so the graphs go into the writing. Lastly, what do you need to remember? Remember these marks. Make sure there's a title. Make sure you label everything. All right? Your scale has to be accurate, just like we went through. This one, if you remember, there was a girl, and she had a hand in front of her face. So she had a hand for a face. She was great. All right. Good luck.